Now let us draw some resonance structures of some organic molecules. First one is carboxylic acid. So let us take an example of carboxylic acid that is CH3COOH. So CH3COOH can be represented like this. So in this case oxygen atom has two lone pairs of electrons. So oxygen is having two lone pairs of electrons. So in this case these pi electrons, these pi electrons are shifted towards this electronegative oxygen and this lone pairs are shifted towards here. So we will get the next structure that is here there is a single bond. So these electrons, these pair of electrons are shifted towards oxygen. So there is a single bond and oxygen is having two lone pairs already but again there is one pair of electrons and it occurs a negative charge. Since it gets one pair of electrons here there is a double bond. So one pair of electrons are shifted towards here. So here there is a double bond and OH is there these electrons are shifted from oxygen so the, there is only one pair of one lone pair of electrons and this oxygen is losing one pair of electrons so it occurs a positive charge so this is the first structure and this is the second structure so two resonating structures are possible for carboxylic acid so while drawing these structures we have to check some rules. The first rule is we should not change or no shift of atoms. So we cannot change the position of atoms. So the position of atoms are the same. Second one is total charge. So total charge must be the same. Total charge must be the same for the contributing structure. So in this case the total charge it is neutral this charge is zero. So in this case there is positive and negative charge so it will be neutral. So total charge must be same for both the structures. Then third rule is the number of unpaired electrons. Number of unpaired electrons must be must be same. So number of unpaired electrons must be same for the resonating structures. Here 1, 2, 3, 4 unpaired electrons are here. Here also 1, 2, 3 and 4 unpaired electrons are there. So these are the rules to be followed while drawing the resonating structures. So in the case of carboxylic acid we can draw two resonating structures. Now let us draw one more structure. So the second example is carboxylate anion. So carboxylate anion, we can take one example. It is CH3COO minus. CH3COO minus is an example of carboxylate anion. So we can draw the structure like this. So in this case, there is a negative charge already. That means one pair of electrons are there in the case of an anion. And it is oxygen atom, it is having two lone pairs that also we have to draw. In this case, two lone pairs. Now, the pi electrons are shifted towards electronegative oxygen. And this lone pair is shifted towards here. So now we can draw the next structure that is C here it is a single bond and oxygen has two lone pairs already it has two lone pairs and one more 
pair of electrons are added and it occurs a negative charge then here there is a double bond and oxygen is here and one pair is shifted towards here then two lone pairs left so oxygen is having two lone pairs so this is the second structure so there are two contributing structures or two resonance structures for carboxylate anion so in this case also we have to follow the rules no shifting of electron no shifting of atoms so in these two contributing structures we have not shifted any of the position of the atoms we have not shifting atoms then second one is total charge must be same so in this case there is a negative charge for the first structure here also the molecule has a negative charge so same charge for both the structures then third one is number of unpaired electrons should be same so in this case also these rules are to be followed so here 1 2 3 4 5 1 2 3 4 5 so total number of unpaired electrons so the that number of electrons are also same in the case of the first structure and the second structure so these are the two resonating structures of carboxylate anion